Hey guys, Jamie here from Black Crack and Canine. I've been wanting to do a video for a while now about dog fights and what to do if your dog gets attacked or finds itself in a fight. With what we do here, where we breed working line German Shepherds, we have a lot of intact females on site at any given point in time. And as much as we try to manage around their personalities, every now and again, a fight does happen. And as a result, we have made a lot of mistakes. We've also gotten pretty good at breaking them up and doing it with minimal damage to the dogs and uh, just as importantly, minimal damage to ourselves. So I wanna talk a little bit about what happens in a dog fight, what you should be doing, and especially what you should not be doing. In order to illustrate this, I found a pretty good video online. I, I don't know how long it's been up for, but it was the first time that I had seen it. And it gives some really good examples of the things not to do. So let's take a look at the video. I'm going to warn you, it is, it's kind of hard to watch. I don't know how it shook out. It doesn't look like the dog that's getting attacked uh, is going to end up being too much the worse for wear at the end of it. But without seeing the end of the video, it's really, it's really not possible to say. So let's start the video and then let's talk about what's going on here. I'm sorry. <laughs> It looks like what's going on here is we have two pit bull type dogs, one bigger than the other, and the bigger one seems to have a hold of the smaller one's neck. Now it's maybe down a little bit lower on the chest, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but it does look like one dog is being attacked here more than two dogs fighting against one another. The first thing that you see is the attacking dog's owner apologizing to the dog that's being attacked. Uh, certainly something he should be doing. That being said, it looks like both dogs are off leash, so there's probably enough blame to go around here. Let's take a look at what they do next because they really find a way to make this bad situation even worse. Hey! Kitty! Drop it! No! Kitty, drop! Let's stop it for a second. I've got my hands in her mouth. Don't do that. Of all the things you can do, don't put your hands in the dog's mouth when they're in the middle of a dog fight. If there is any point in time during which your beloved dog is going to bite you, it's in the middle of a dog fight. I can tell you that because my beloved dog has bitten me in the middle of a dog fight. It happens all the time. Keep your hands away from the dog's face. There are three main goals when it comes to breaking up a dog fight. Safety of the dog, safety of the humans, stop the fight. That's it. Let's keep going. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Take hey. Hey. Oh. All right. So before it gets really bad, let's talk a little bit more. This guy's giving commands. He's spamming commands at his dog. Look, you're not going to be able to obedience your dog's way out of a dog fight. Once your dog is in a fight, you can do pretty much whatever you want and it's not going to help. Now I'm talking about a real fight. Sometimes dogs will get into a little scrap and you raise your voice a bit and they kind of break it up and wander away. That's not a fight. A fight is when the two dogs start going at it or one dog attacks another and it will not be broken up. So read online. Stick your finger up the dog's ass. Go ahead. It's not going to work. If it does work, then there's a million other things that would have worked too and you wouldn't have had to stick your finger up a dog's ass. Throw boiling water on them. They're already in a fight. They're already getting hurt. You're going to throw boiling water on your dog? Don't do that. Throw ice water on them. They're in a fight. One dog has its teeth in another dog's neck. Do you think that ice water is going to break that up? No. There is something you can do. There is one right answer. And it's what should be being done right now, but isn't. We'll get to that at the very end. Let's see what's going to happen next here. So, 
He's continuing to yell, drop it. There's somebody in the background yelling, can you punch him in the head? Again, neither of those things is going to work. To make things even worse, the owner of the dog that's being attacked now decides that he's going to try to pull his dog away. Well, anybody who's ever played tug with their dog knows that the best way to not get a dog to let go of something is to try to yank it out of their mouth. So by trying to pull dogs apart while they're in the middle of a fight, you're going to cause tremendous damage to whatever dog currently has teeth sunk into it. So also, don't do that. Drop it! Tahini, drop it! Drop! Tahini! And that's all we get to see. Kind of anticlimactic. I'd like to know how it ends. But that being said, I can tell you exactly how I would have ended it. And it is, without a doubt, the safest way to ever end a dog fight for both the humans and the dogs. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Take your leash, which should have been on the dogs in the first place. Slide the handle end under the attacking dog's neck. Slide the clasp through the handle. And cinch. You essentially create a small noose out of your leash. You will then pull up on the noose, tightening it around the attacking dog's neck until it doesn't have enough air and it has no choice but to open its mouth and let go of the bite you're still not gonna put the dog down. You're going to keep the dog suspended and move it away to a safe area where it's not gonna to continue to go back after the dog that it was attacking. You're then going to find a way to restrain the dog, whether with another leash or by the collar or whatever you have to do, attach your leash to the dog's collar and get your dog the hell away from there. Nobody wants to have to choke a dog. I don't want to have to choke a dog ever. If you've ever been bitten in a dog fight or seen the damage that a dog fight can cause, you will know that this is the one and only safe way to break up a dog fight.